हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज प्रभा शर्मा असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ई सी ओरियंटल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी भोपाल एंड टुडे इज माई लेक्चर टॉपिक इज सैम्पलिंग थ्योरम एंड दिस टॉपिक कम्स अंडर द सब्जेक्ट सिग्नल एंड सिस्टम एंड डिजिटल कम्युनिकेशन फर्स्ट बी डिस्कस अबाउट कंटिन्यूस टाइम वर्सेज डिस्क्रीट टाइम सिस्टम कंटिन्यूस टाइम सिस्टम एज वी ऑल नो कंटिन्यूस टाइम सिस्टम्स आर गुड फॉर द एनालॉग गेयर्स एंड गुड जनरल अंडरस्टैंडिंग अप्रोप्रिएट मोस्टली टू एनालॉग इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सर्किट्स Uh, electronics are increasing digital so as we all know that the mobile phones are digital and tv broadcast are 100% digital in uk now digital signals are improving day by day and we are using digital signal and suppose we are having analog signal and we want to convert into digital signal and we have to convert a to d converter as you all know the computer understands only digital signal so we have to convert analog signal into digital signal and again and the receiving end we again convert this digital signal into analog signal now we start with the sampling process first is what is sampling sampling is a method of to convert an analog signal into discrete signal then we convert the discrete signal into digital signal by the process quantization what is sampling process in a sampling process first we convert analog signal into digital signal by to a to d converters this is a analog signal This frequency is hundred kilohertz, and these two are sampled signal that is converted into discrete signals. For the, here we are using sampling frequency two kilohertz, and here we are using sampling frequency five hundred hertz. Sampling frequency must be always greater than the message frequency. Sampling theorem. What is sampling theorem? Sampling theorem is a bridge between the continuous time and discrete time signal. Sampling theorem tells us how often we must sample in order not to lose any information. We are converted an analog signal into discrete signal, but how we can convert an analog signal into discrete signal? Which conditions we have to follow? That defined by the sampling theorem. What is sampling theorem? It is a very important topic. What is sampling theorem? Exam में कई बार क्वेश्चन आया हुआ है. State and proof sampling theorem. What is sampling theorem? A continuous time signal x t with frequencies no higher than f max hertz can be reconstructed exactly from its samples xn equals to x of nt if the samples are taken at a rate fs equals to 1 by ts that is great, greater than twice of f maximum it is a statement of sampling theorem for example suppose we have a message signal of 100 hertz jaisa ki humne pichle slide mein humne dekha tha example there we are using a frequency of 100 hertz we need to sample this at higher than 200 hertz we have already discussed that the sampling frequency must be greater than twice of the message frequency so we have to take sampling frequency more than 200 hertz in order not to lose any data that is to to be able to reconstruct the 100 hertz sine wave exactly f max refers to the maximum frequency component in the signal that has significant energy according to the sampling theorem sampling frequency and sampling rate if message signal frequency is fm so according to sampling theorem the sampling frequency fs must be greater than twice of fm and the sampling rate ts must be less than 1 by 2 fm here is the proof of sampling theorem this is a message signal xt which frequency domain is x of omega message signal bandwidth is b capital b here we are using the periodic impulse function periodic impulse function also known as train of impulse or you can also known it by at the direct com function direct the periodic impulse function the only one function which fourier transform is again train of impulse we have discussed about this that the train of impulse is a function which fourier transform is again train of impulse the analog signal is multiplying with train of impulse then we are getting sampled signal in the frequency domain we see that the frequency of the message signal is that is bandwidth is b b and the bandwidth of uh, sample signal is omega s so omega s the message signal is shifting on omega s the so omega s is greater than twice of b you can clearly see in this diagram The omega s is greater than twice of b, b plus b, greater than twice of b. 
this is again a proof of sampling theorem therefore to reconstruct the signal xt we can use an ideal low pass filter on the sample spectrum here you can see the sample frequency is omega s also known as fs and the message frequency is b so here you can see that fs is greater than twice of b greater than twice of b this is only possible if the shaded parts don't overlap this means that fs must be more than twice that of b again the mathematical proof of sampling theorem for the mathematical proof of sampling theorem we have to understand the concept of fourier series and fourier transform that the sampled version can be expressed as x bar t that is xt multiplied with del tst what is xt xt is mass signal and del st del tst is periodic impulse function you can also write this as summation of x of nts del of t minus nts we can express the impulse stream as fourier series because it is a periodic function so the we we have to represent this function as a fourier series x bar t is represented like this since twice of x t cos omega c t fourier transform is x of omega minus omega s plus x of omega plus omega s this is done by the fourier transform by using frequency shifting property so the final expression is this which is essential the spectrum shown in the previous slide in the previous slide we have said that the the mass signal is shifting on the periodic impulse function that like this now what is nyquist frequency and nyquist sampling rate if the mass signal is fm so according to the sampling theorem the nyquist frequency if the sampling frequency is exactly equal to twice of fm it is known as nyquist frequency and the sampling rate is exactly equals to 1 by twice of fm it is known as nyquist sampling rate again what happens if we sample too slowly we are taking an example here is the message signal is 5 kilohertz message signal is 5 kilohertz and we and the nyquist rate of 10 hertz the message signal frequency is 5 kilohertz and we are taking sampling frequency 10 kilohertz which is exactly equals to the twice of the message frequency this is a condition of nyquist rate so we get a perfect reconstruction we get perfect reconstruction In the second condition, we are taking Nyquist rate 20 hertz, which is more is greater than twice of fm. So we are giving perfect reconstruction practically. It is a practical condition. And if we are taking 5 hertz, then we are getting aliasing signal. That the signal is overlapping with the neighbor signal. This is the condition of aliasing. Aliasing. If massive signal frequency is fm, so according to the sampling theorem, if fs, that is sampling frequency, is less than twice of fm, and sampling rate is greater than twice of fm, then the aliasing occurs. To avoid the aliasing, we always take fs is greater than twice of fm. This is again a diagram. This is the condition when we are taking fs is greater than twice of fm, and this is the condition when we are taking fs is less than twice of fm. So we are getting aliased signal. For signal re reconstruction or to avoid the corruption of signal after sampling, we always ensure that the FS must be greater than twice of FM. If FS is less than twice of FM, we get that aliased signal and after reconstruction, we get distorted signal. To avoid that aliasing, we use anti-aliasing filter before the sampling. We use a simple low pass filter before the sampling. If we are using anti-aliasing filter, we get a perfect signal after reconstruction that is always equal to the message signal. This is the diagram. So it is clear that the, by the sampling theorem, we are converted uh, analog signal into discrete signal. And again, we convert this discrete signal into digital signal by using the quantization concept. Thank you for watching this video. For more details, you can contact me at 7415-762574 or you can mail me at prabhasharma740 at the rate gmail.com.